It's all right, so I'll sweep. You start unloading that. You want to pull this out? Yep, however you like. I'm not trying to get this perfect yet. We'll blow it out on the next step. Because the bed rug, it's going to have to be super cleaned. That's heavy. To get it right. But for today, this will be fine, man. Caution, handle with care. You should always handle with care. Sun's coming out. That's a really long box to come from Australia. You think they could have thrown in an extra didgeridoo or something for us? <laughs> Did they give us one didgeridoo? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a didgeridoo. All right, I think I've done enough sweeping for the moment. So much tape, I don't know they've really packaged it well. <laughs> there we go. Oh, things falling out. Yeah, there you go. Let me grab this over here. Help. <laughs> Need some help? Yeah. Tough. Manage it. There we go. I got okay. it. <sighs> nice. All right. Well, here we are. So this is what we got as we unpackage all of this stuff. Wild I'm top. Cool. All the way from Australia has sent Moto... Hey, give me the razor blade for a second. You still got it in your pocket? Oh. Has sent us a start, soft top. Start that over. Why? I don't want to cut this on top of that canvas. It's making me nervous. I'm going to cut it over here. Hey, this is nice. Wild Top from Australia has sent us a canvas soft top, but from what I can find on the internet, which isn't um, a lot, there are no other soft top canvas style top or truck bed covers that actually have their own rack assembly with it. Huh. Everybody else, you buy a soft top canvas cover the skeleton is completely on the inside, and then you have to buy a separate Canvas. rack, metal rack that goes over the top of that, and if that's you're another gonna put two a, grand. If you're going to put a tent or that's bicycles right. or whatever. Right. And but so this one cut includes the rack. This includes the rack. Okay, that's cool. And it's the cool. only one that I found that actually includes the rack. And because we come from a, um, a motorcycle background uh -huh. with the whole lightweight, compact, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. I want to do the same kind of concept here where it's lightweight, compact, and when you can get two for the rack and the... Why not? The, see, so I said, hey guys, Did and they you? said, sure. Do you know Do you know what Wild Top's uh, logo is or uh, catchphrase? Don't look. Oh, go light, go far? No, that's Moto Camp Nerd. Oh, no. What is it? <laughs> get out, go wild. I would have the two word thing down. Yeah, get yeah, out, yeah, go yeah. wild. Okay, that's cool. I can dig it. Now, um, I have watched a couple of videos on how to put this stuff together. Um, there's not a lot of videos out there, so hopefully this one will be a little bit more comprehensive. Okay. And give some the, the people some more information. I like the it. quality of their of their magazine. For sure. So I'm just going to pull all the bubble wrap, all of this stuff, and uh, hopefully it won't fly away. One thing that has caused me slight trepidation because. It is a brand new truck. Uh-huh. I have to drill some holes in it. Oh, yeah. I have to drill. That is one of the things with the Wild Top, their installation process as, I mean, I haven't read the instructions yet, but I have watched the videos. And with these silver brackets, I'm gonna have to drill a hole in the truck. I've seen other ones where it clamps down to the edge. Uh-huh. Um, so I don't know if this is more secure, less secure, whatever, whatever. But the benefits of the all-in-one idea to me, outweighs just about any of the others. Sure. Trucks are meant to be drilled into anyway. Well. <laughs> They're a truck. Well, They're indestructible. Does that predispose it to get drilled? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. okay. Now, I did email them, uh, actually this morning, so I, I, it's Australia time, so I have no... I'm not going to open the, this one. Uh, I expect no response, because it is nighttime there right now. But um, I've asked them what was their personal recommendations on racks on top, mm -hmm. putting things on top, uh -huh. like the tent and whatnot. Uh -huh. So a rooftop tent generally has U-bolts, 
which will be perfect for this, um, no problem. But then say you wanna add more things like gas cans and traction strips or whatever it is that they put on the sides. Gotcha. Is so it okay to drill into so these just, pieces, these cross members, the square? You're just trying to figure out if yeah, there's ones that they have tested and approve or... Right, right, right. Or what is their experience? I mean, one of the things that, that frustrates me when I'm doing um, projects or whatnot uh -huh. is I don't know what is actually available in way of hardware. You know, I'm not, my, my brain isn't a hardware library. Uh -huh. So uh, I ask the people who have already researched it. Sure. Yeah. No point in reinventing the wheel if you don't have to. Yeah. Square wheels don't work. Let's go with the round ones. That has buttons, so that is a, uh, that's one of the ones that has the roll-ups, the roll-up strips where this it is keeps. aluminum, dude. It's, yeah, it's very, very, very light. Very light. Yeah, it's buttons really right nice. here for the wrap straps. Strap. I love It's very, the, very I love light. Them. I can't remember what the actual um, weight was. Very light. I, I picked it up out of your oh. truck bed with my bad wrist. So it can't be that heavy. That's right. I love the, uh, I, I don't know if it's powder coating or what, but the finish on these are really nice. Yep. And all but the two cross members at the, on the top of the truck is gonna be hidden by the canvas. Oh, that's too bad, because I mean, that is beautiful. They've got a bunch of holes already drilled for you, so. Yeah, oh, do they? See, I don't see. I don't know what those go to yet, so we'll find out. No, oh well, this will go to um, the main brackets. The, the brackets, and bolts. yeah, the bracket will be of this nature. Okay. Yep. All right. Manufacturer certified by Wild Top. Maximum weight limit: two hundred twenty pounds. Dynamic: seven hundred seventy static. Right. So we could have two hundred twenty pounds on top of this thing as it's going down the road. Gotcha. And seven hundred pounds when it's sitting still. All righty. Now comes the fun part. Put the skeleton together. Need some water. Need some water? Yeah, I might. I'll get some later. All right. I brought some. So we've gone over the instructions. We think we understand. We've assembled all of our tools. We've placed all of the pieces and parts right behind us. Uh -huh. We're going to use this out. table to put it all together. So I'm going to move some stuff out of the way until we need it so we can place the things that we want up here okay. as we need it. Good so, call. Uh, and we'll try to go through each step saying what it is that we use and why it is that we're doing it in that fashion and in that order. Well, while you're doing that, I will yep. read to everybody what the tools are that they will need that we've assembled. So okay. you'll, you'll need a drill. Um, you'll need a Phillips head uh, drill bit. Um, I suppose you could use a regular Phillips head, but a uh, drill bit will be faster. Uh, you'll need a number three or a three millimeter and an eight millimeter drill bit. You'll need a six millimeter hex key a 13 and a 17 millimeter wrench or spanner times two. So what that means is you're going to be doing wrenching a, a 17 a millimeter nuts. with a nut and a head that are both 17. So you need two of each of those. Uh, you need a marker. Boom. Got your marker. A tape measure. Tape measure. It's and a cleaning wipe cloth of some sort. Safety gear. Gloves. Ooh. Yeah. Who needs that? Well. All right, yeah, let's do it. So what do you need first, sir? All right, uh, step one, uh, we're gonna assemble the top over landing, or the over hoops or okay, whatever Okay, so these two. Yep. We need these two. Yep. And we need these four. Mm, yep. Right, so just so you get a picture of what's going on, have a little bar goes up here, bar goes up there, cross piece and then the same at the front. So we're gonna assemble those upwards and over, what do we call those? These are the bridges, we'll call them bridges. Okay, we'll call them bridges. Now, um, one of the things to notate, and this is where uh, a detailed instruction and things that we're finding. There are two pieces of angled, at the bottom, angled side railing pieces. One goes up front and one goes at the back. You can notice the difference because the one that goes up front has a short piece of Velcro and the one that goes toward the end of the, the back of the truck toward the tailgate has a long piece of Velcro. You also notice the angles are different. So the one that goes at the end of the truck will have the long piece of Velcro facing the tailgate 
whereas the one that goes up front has the short piece of Velcro facing away from the truck toward me. Outwards. Outwards, right. So just keep that in mind as you get ready to put these together. One other little tiny detail that we noticed as well is it is these pieces that go at the top to hook them together. They have these little uh, J's. Structural pieces in there. And it needs to be flat this way. It can't, you don't want it to do it this way, right? It needs to be this way. So just make sure that this is flat. You're checking this for a J, yeah. Yep, make yep, sure yep. that this looks right. Yep, make sure it's flat, long ways down. All right, so that's Let's what begin. we gotta do. So there is that one. I need the Toward cross the back piece. of the truck. Where's the cross piece? The cross piece. So this one is at the back of the truck and it'll go here with the buttons, the snaps on the inside. Now these snaps are what is going to be used to roll up and use the magnet straps to hold up your windows. And they have buttons that will snap onto here and then magnets to hold everything together. So make sure the, the buttons are facing the right direction when you get ready to put everything in. The snaps. The snaps, right. Rear. Rear. Rear goes here, like thusly, mm -hmm. with one of these guys. Flat. How did I know that was the rear? Velcro. Long, long piece of Velcro. There we go. And there we go. Okay, Excellent. so now we just got to get some bolts and put it, put this portion together. Before we start assembling that, let's go ahead and assemble this. We, well. Yeah, we can do them both a little quicker that way, I think. Who invented the assembly line, Henry Ford? This, well, he perfected it, that's for sure. From what I understand, he also... Oh, wait, I've got it backwards. Oh, no! See? Uh, from what I also understand, uh, Mr. Henry Ford, uh, w with some help from the unions, created the 40-hour work week. Because he found out overworking people does not has a short-term um, production benefit, but not a long-term production benefit. Oh, that's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Ouch. One, two, three, four. Bolt, bolt. I'm not seeing any of these being any longer or any shorter than the others. They all look about the same. Are they asking for washers in this particular portion? Yep. Okay. And before we start assembling these, mm -hmm. we need a bracket. What kind of bracket? This little bracket. So there are a number now, of brackets. Now, do we need to put these in here first? Nope, the bracket. Go, goes with it. Oh, okay. Alrighty. So don't put any bolts in until you uh, you have these all snapped together. Now we're going to also add a bracket, and then those will all be bolted together. Okay. At so the same time. That means you need these brackets. So we need to figure out which one goes to which one. Correct. This is one thing that we thought in the instruction manual. Um, maybe the manufacturers could uh, make it a little more clear. No, notate, not, 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 if, if you notate on here, you know, okay, this is bracket A, and that's bracket B, and that's bracket C, and then we can all, we can match it up later as you uh, refer to the different brackets, but... Yeah, little ABC stickers or something like that. It's because the, I, we actually had a thing where I saw an optical illusion and thought the bend went the wrong way, and you went, no, 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 check out the bottom, and I'm like, oh, yeah. daggum, aren't you right? It's kind of like one of those things where do you see an old man or a kitty cat? Yes, I always <laughs> see the horse. <laughs> all right, so where does that one go? I'll bring all four of these over there, all right. and we will figure out where they need to go. The good part is the instructions are very clear photographically. You know, they have good pictures, yes, yes, but yes, you yes. have to match everything up based on what it looks like, right. you know, so... So that would be the snap fitting sitting up, yep. and then we have those two poles fitting that way. That's correct. Okay. It would go the other way, wouldn't it? Yeah. So we can flip this over. Probably. We need to flip this Let's one just over. do that one first, and then okay. we'll flip that one over. Then we need to find this one for this one, and I would suspect that it's this one. Correct. Okay. Good. I guessed right. I had a, I had a thirty-three percent chance of what was left. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. I will go ahead and start positioning these. I don't think that they're asking for washers on the exterior. Is no. that? Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and prep these and you can tighten them. So it's gonna be bolts through. Washer and nut. These look really nice too. I think these are stainless. These are. I would hope so. Top-notch bolts. Yeah, that's good. So no rusty rusts. 
because it is supposed to be waterproof. So there you see, you've got your bolt, got your washer, mm -hmm. got your nut, got your bracket. I'm not gonna wrench them down, as right. they say. I'm Before just... we put the canvas on, but prior to drilling holes in the truck. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah? Okay. Are you thinking correctly or are you thinking backwards? I'm probably thinking backwards, who knows? Well, you're supposed to be thinking backwards and when it's upside down like yeah. that. Yeah, righty tighty, lefty loosey, unless you're doing it from the bottom. It's all in your perspective. Correct. Mm. We're also finding time. Goes on the outside. Right, just like that. Yes. Okie dokie. Right. Now, I, I'm going to admit to you, you were having an issue with this one because I'm having an issue with this one. Uh, okay. So we might have the first in a line of not lining up properly, unless this is going the wrong way. It's not. All right, go ahead. Got it. All right, so if I do that first, these other ones are slotted, so they might give us a little more leeway. There it is. Cool. Whoop. All right, next thing is, are we congratulating ourselves on part one? You know, part of life, you need to- Small adventures? The, you, you need to reward yourself mm -hmm. when you make small accomplishments. Okay, good job. <laughs> All right, so now we have to get the, the ones for the buttons that go down the sides. Well, before we go any further, Jason. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to cut. Well, no, we need to mount the other brackets. These are the double brackets to the bottom of So at the bottom of the legs, we okay. have to put the double brackets on. Oh yeah, they're dual bracket. They're, they're two parts to it. So here, I'll take this one down. I right. uh, don't want to get it scratched. It's all nice and clean. There are two brackets. If you'll notice, you'll go ahead and have to figure it out. One has a single side like this, no big bins in it. Then the other one is kind of complicated. You can see it has two walls and a down piece. They also have the insulation rubber waterproofing this is vibration is, absorbent but you'll notice that these will be married in some form or fashion um actually it goes like that so it goes this bracket goes to that bracket like that and so go ahead and figure out which where they which ones go together and then where those end up going the photos help you out just sort of yep. mix them around match them up until you get it Right, this is another spot where it could have labels on them would have been a little more helpful to, to expedite the process. Otherwise, we can figure it out. So the complicated bracket goes on the outside. Let me get that, let me get the camera over here a little closer so we can see what's going on. So here's what Jason was showing you. This is the complicated bracket that has the foam on the bottom. Obviously that goes on top of the truck. So the complicated one that has all these fittings and stuff. And you'll see that complicated one goes on the outside with just this little flange going on the inside. And then the uh, Not sister piece the, uh, goes on the inside of that. And so those will marry up just like that. And bolts go through all of them. It doesn't seem to me like they skimped on any corners. I mean, the finish is beautiful. They have high quality stainless steel bolts and such hardware. So they probably just felt it was going to be a little more sturdy if they had a dual bracket. Maybe would so. Be my guess. I don't know. Unless there's some some other implementation that we haven't come across yet. Let me get the other one. So see if I can figure out which one this side goes. Again, it's sort of like a a hunting peck at this particular moment. That's not the right one. Two bolts, two washers, two nuts. Dustly. We have a visitor. You got delivery? Walmart delivery. So this is the one in the back. And just 
so you have a visual this is actually going this direction in the front by the cab so we're kind of assembling yes. it backwards right however this will be yours i believe These are all the same, right? Mm-hmm. Hold up before you put that on there, though. Don't put that on there yet. Why not? Oh, right. See, that's why teamwork is dream work. That's why a, a do. That's why a, a video on how to do it, very detailed, is helpful because we will make the mistakes, and you will benefit from them. Yep. Dang. Why we're uh, getting deep in here? Why we're doing this whole thing? You know, we're learning life lessons over the years. Dang. May I make an observation? You, you may. So uh, you'll notice because these are double brackets, there is less of the bolt coming through the nut. Yes. On the bottom than there is on the top. That's okay. I can appreciate that. As a cost savings measure, you keep talking. I'll do the, this part. As a cost savings measure, <laughs> they said, you know what? We'll just have a little bit of the bolt sticking out on the upper ones where there isn't as much bracket, yep. and we'll just send them the same bolt. And it actually makes it easier for assembly because you don't have to try and figure out, okay, are these the long bolts or these the short bolts. So uh, I thought that was top notch. Uh, so yeah, obviously, keep it simple. Um, now, what's next? First, we've got to pat ourselves on the back oh, for assembling right. another piece. <laughs> now what? I feel like at this point, Jason, we should probably just do a quick little cut and... And figure some stuff review, out. Review what the next stage is. Sounds like a plan. You get the truck, I'll get these two. We have made a mistake. Jason, there's not enough bolts. Yep, we have made a mistake. Uh-oh. Yep. It's also looking like it's about to rain. But um, this bolt right here... And this bolt right here on the top cross beam that goes across the truck this way at the front and across the front of the back of the truck like this, these need to remain open. We went ahead and put them in because we didn't read the instructions thoroughly. That hole will be filled by the exterior crossbar, luggage rack, tent rack, whatever. So we're gonna take those out on that piece and this piece before continuing on to the next step. Now, according to the instructions, that is the front of the cab, yeah? Yep. This is the tailgate. Correct. This little logo piece goes toward the tailgate? Towards the tailgate. Goes like this. Correct. All right, bolts, since we have enough of them now. <laughs> what am I, the manual labor now? Well, it's certainly not automatic. What am I, the gopher now? Yes. Um, bring me a nut. Oh, no, never mind. I got one. Cool. Cool. Sweet. Sweet. What's next? The cross beams. The next step in the process is to attach these cross members. And in order to do that, we had to measure out the back here. And there are a total of six of these. One, two, three. Four braces and two in. So our measurements, the, the, the descriptor says one foot in and then equidistant in the middle. So we went 12 inches, 28, 44, 60. So that's our measurements for there. We used a 1 8 inch drill bit to make the pilot holes and everything is perfectly good. Next part is the bottom two cross members. Okay. So that, what we'll do, I think, is if you'll get on that end and then we'll kind of like just lift up. Flip it over. Just flip it like this. If you hold that, I'll get the one that goes here and we'll put this one in and then we'll flip it over and put the other one in. Okay, that sounds so, good. That one is that. These two pieces lay in here and get screwed in this way. Okay. And then these two are for the metal brackets that go to the truck itself. 
And now these bolts are the different bolts. Yeah, these are D and These are the galvanized e. ones, it looks like. And you don't need nuts because it's threaded on the other side. So I think I can get this one started. And of course we're doing it kind of wonky because we're has it up on its edge. So that goes in there. Okay. There we go. And this goes right there. There's a hole in my pocket, dear Liza, dear Liza. You know the whole song? Uh, it's some kind of song I remember somebody singing to me when I was a kid or something. Yeah. There's a whole, there's a bunch of verses to it. Yeah. Hole in my bucket. We'll fix it, dear Liza, says the husband. With what shall I fix it? She asks. And he goes through the entire process with yeah. mud and hay and, how will I, and, and water. You mix it all together and you make a paste to fix the bucket. I don't remember and, 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 and then she says, well, what am I going to carry the water in? There's a hole in my bucket. There. Let me get the other one. This one will be easier. And go. Yeah. Now, while you're doing that, I'm going to say that so far, except for just having to um, figure out what the directions are telling us, because there's no labels, the, ins the actual implementation of the directions is fairly simple. It's straightforward. It's just bolts. Yeah. We just have to figure out what goes to where and which goes to what. And, and they, do et cetera, et cetera. they do label the bolts and the nuts and the washers, so that makes it pretty straightforward. I think it would be nice if they labeled the brackets, but yep. you can tell by the photo and it, it works fine. Yep. And not to make the video any longer than it needs to be, but now that we've gotten to this point, the next step is just to put it on the truck and put the canvas on and figure out that portion of it. Okay. Uh, so I think I want some lunch. Yeah, let's go get some lunch. Okie dokie. Let's go get some lunch. How was lunch? Lunch was good, man. East Bay Deli. East Bay Deli. Right around the corner. Good stuff. Yep. Had a, had a, had a, what did I have? You had a Reuben. I had a Reuben. That's right. I had a Reuben. All right. That's let's pretty, get on. Pretty we've bad. Got, we've got some weather. We got some weather. So we're in. not going to mess around here. Let's get on with this. So you're going to handhold that, right? I have to tell you that yeah. uh, had we looked ahead at our instructions, we probably could have knocked this out before we went to lunch. Oh, definitely. We're almost but, done. Yeah, but we didn't know that it. Was, we didn't know that it was really going to rain. Like yeah. we thought we had more time. Of yeah. course, we always think we have more time, don't we? We do. We, we do. do, as in the human race does. So we're going to race now and just clean this off. And as the instructions say, I'm going to wipe it down with a towel really quickly, and then I'm going to take this other towel and I'm going to alcohol it just to get a little bit of the grease off, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, so that we get a good adhesion nice. point. Da, 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 da. A little bit of alcohol on both the top and the front side because it suggests it, it says it requires the top, but the Front facing vertical point. Oh, here it comes. Here Again? it comes. Here it comes. So we're gonna do this on a You're gonna have time. We're gonna have time. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna assume. Give me that end. That this is going to be the exact right length, and it is. So we're gonna get this end. And I'm not gonna actually put it down. I'll just hold it, and then we can stretch it out. Cool. Cool. So that's going to hold, go ahead and stick it to where now you... Now look, you got an inch or two over here. I have about an inch on this side. Okay, that'll work. So go ahead and put that down. Yep. Got it. Then, make sure that this is all in the right spot. Spot, spot, spot. And we just pull. And squeeze. And pull. And squeeze. It's like you've done that pull. before. And squeeze, and I'm going off kilter just a hair, so I'm going to come back. Make sure this Need is me to still come on. the other side? I am good to go, bro. Looks like you took another trail. No, well, I'm assuming that the um, Velcro on the cover is going to be probably a bit wider in that strip so it doesn't really matter so i'm not sure it's really going to matter all that much my question is how low how low do we go just on the flat part just right there okay and this is exactly the same length which is good cool so i will peel this you want to go ahead and put it on go ahead and put it on 
Go got lower. It? Oh, well, that's okay. That's where you got it. So then I am going to put this in the middle. Here, I'll come hold the other side so you go Just straight like this that. time. I will switch sides. So as long as I keep my thumb right here. You might be able to, what happens if you let go? Nothing. With your thumb? Nothing. No, I mean, yeah, yeah, there you go. But this sags in the middle, so I want to keep my, which is what I goofed up at the top. Hey, the sun came back out. Yay. And you can let go. Okay, do we go ahead and put it up or we sure. want to put the snaps on? You got to go up in there anyway. Well, let's go side to side. Go around the side. Oop. Now we probably want to wipe off. Let's yeah. wipe it off a little bit. Okay. And then I will toss you this and you're going to do the other side. Now, one of the things that they did say when mounting this to the truck, when you're preparing to figure out where the holes go, that you're about to drill into your brand new truck, it's 10.5 inches from there. You got a Sharpie? Come on over and get a tight shot of this 10.5. What we were looking for is the bracket. Well, you gotta have the bracket. Fair enough. There's one bracket and two brackets. Okay, put that one in there. So this bracket is gonna go here and to this leading edge is 10.5 inches. 10.5 from the inside edge, like that, is exactly right here. 10.5, right there. Okay. Now, before we go any further, Jason, we forgot one little step. Oh yeah? The snaps. Okay, so here's, this is a strange order of install. I don't wanna knock this down, but it says to put these snaps up on the snappy snaps. Before you do any of this other stuff, which seems a little out of order to me, but who am I to decide what is and is not out of order? So I'm going to go ahead and put them on. Maybe it's to maybe it's so that they'll be ready when you put the canvas on because you're going to need to roll the canvas up to finish the job. And if right, that's the come truth, back, come back here and show me how this one loops up onto itself. Nice, magnetic. Yes, magnetic. So they are very uh, loose fitting snaps, which is fine. We will see how this goes. I have a sneaking suspicion I'm gonna end up doing something different. Because they will hang down when not in use. I mean, granted, they'll flip up on themselves, but they still are hanging down. So I might add a another little piece of metal or something. Flip them up and so they're out, them of up like out of the way. Because this is aluminum, so it doesn't stick. Okay, so now we need a drill, a drill bit, and a little less cowardice. Do you want me to do it so that you don't feel bad? You can do it and then I can blame you if you mess it up. <laughs> How about that? All right, so. Now these top ones are self-tapped. I mean, they've got threads already in the mounting brackets. So that's pretty self-explanatory, honestly. We have come to the point that we have all been dreading. The moment that takes intestinal fortitude. Serious intestinal fortitude. After you draw, you know, you drop a bunch of cash on a truck and now you just decide that you're gonna drill holes in it. And we're 100% sure this is the drill bit we want, right? It just needs to be Smaller than that hole, but bigger than this one. And that's where we're going. You ready? 
I'm putting it right on the edge right there and here we go going at it gangsta with your with your drill bit on the side <laughs> what's that saws all <laughs> Saws all has always been the, the most manly of tools. That, it, it's it's a it's a toss up between a sawzall and a chainsaw. So I'll just look at the camera and say, and this is why instead of an adjustable wrench, you have to use a 13 millimeter spanner, a uh, regular wrench, not socket wrench. But I left them at the dadgum house. <laughs> not this house. I'm doing it in a different house. So I left most of my tools at the other house. But this will be just fine. Yeah, yeah. It's working like an a chain. adjustable wrench slips in there fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Have you named your truck yet? Yeah, B3M. B3M? Yeah. I mean, I might come up with a more human name. More human name, but you it need is a kind human of name. It is kind of human. I mean, I'm thinking Betty. I was going to add Black Betty. Oh, Black, Black Betty. Betty. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Wild Top, I would say you put together a heck of a product. So far. I'll, I'll be Jason and do the negatives there. Oh, there's, you're going to do some negatives? There's really only two places that we would find potential improvement. Uh-huh. Uh, number one is these slats over here that go across. Um, they attach with a little uh, self-tapping screw. I think it would be a nice touch if you drilled the hole in the top of the uh, slats. So right. That way we would know exactly where to start. Maybe self-tapping holes up there as well. Yeah, or, well, you know, but if, if it just had something like a hole already there, and then anyway, gotcha. Then, uh, of course, the instructions if you can label these brackets, I think that might help. So, uh, we took a few minutes off camera to figure out which ones went where, right? It wasn't too hard. You watch the pictures, right? You can figure it out. Um, but now we did uh, mess up a couple of times in our haste to go ahead and think we know what we're doing. We put a couple of bolts in that didn't need to go in yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bear with us. Next step, we're going to install the cover. All right, it's rain is coming down, Mr. Chris. All right. Well, we better hurry up because that's the whole point of having this thing. Oh, I know. So I have, I ordered the one. I ordered the one with the window at the front and at the back. Okay. And I'm assuming there's a window up here that this is the one at the back. I don't know. I don't either. Oh, I know what, but we'll know by the Velcro. True. Yeah, this is the front. Okay, then just I throw think. it up there. Hold up a second. I'm going to go ahead and pull the sides off the side, which will help us. All right, now we have to get down through this crack. We also have to pull it up further. There we go. Whoa, dude. This is cool. You have a zipper back there? Got it. Huh. So now we want to do the Velcro part. Well, you have these two little lips, see? All right. This so goes on the outside. outside that keeps the water shedding outside like a duck's back. The duck back. And then we have to pull it down. And you see this Velcro has two sections. This section is going to go on the top. And this section is going to go wrap around. Okay. Well, let's just pull it to the bottom one. Yeah. Because I don't know if it's going to wrap all the way down. There we go. Perfect. Good. Look at that. And then that little piece right there, too. ka -chow. Boom. Boom. Shakalaka. Okay, I can get a little straighter. Get a little straighter for me. Ooh, that's good Velcro. So, let's go put the tops on. <laughs> the next step is to put the rods in that hold the, tight, the side tight and stiff. So we're gonna unzip the back here and you'll notice there's a little pocket that runs all the way down the side. So I'm going to take this rod and just thread it straight through like that. I don't know that it could be any easier than that. So I'm gonna do all the sides. All right, the shorty, the shorty goes on the shorty side, which is the end. Still, a second grader could figure this out. <laughs> Good thing I made it to third grade. There's Reminds me of one. the Geico commercial. Oh yeah? You might caveman. be a caveman if. Oh, I, oh yeah, definitely. This one doesn't have a stopper. That's okay. And then the last one, on the very end, on this side. 
so easy you could put it up in the rain. There we go. Ka-chow. And then zip this down just because. Just like that. We have to put the top pieces on now. The rack. Last part in the rain. Made it just in time. The cross <laughs> pieces. Obviously holes go up. There is a block. There is two red washers. And there are a couple of pieces of rubber. If you'll notice on one side of the piece of the rubber is flat and the other side is diamond cut. Diamond cut goes up. So we put a washer on the bolt, the bolt through the rod, a washer below and on top of the block, and then the diamond plate rubber square piece goes up and this goes into the hole. The rest of the, uh, the fixation will happen inside. So Chris and I are going to switch places and I will do this side. One bolt through the hole with the washer, one washer underneath the rod on top of the block with the square piece of rubber, with the diamond facing up. Yay. Us. And we go do the rest of it inside. Do that two more times, tighten everything up for the inside. Bob's your uncle. Wink y'all. Now the next part after you get all of these brackets put together and the bars put across is you need to be able to tighten it from the inside and outside. Now normally I would just roll up the top, but since it's, uh, it's raining and stuff, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to give Chris one of these sockets to just get in there and hold it for me. And while we wrench it down tight. Are you ready, sir? Uh, I need a nut. Oh. And a washer. Okay. From what I understand, these cross members at speed can hold 220 pounds. So we're planning on putting a rooftop tent on this thing. Are you getting wet out there? Yes. Because I'm nice and dry in here. I know. <laughs> and there you have it. Well done, sir. Well done, sir. I'm in the impressed. wet. In no, the rain. No kidding. In the rain. <laughs> and it's still raining. But look, the wild top. It's beautiful. It wouldn't have taken us a, maybe two hours if we weren't trying to record it. I know. So that was pretty easy. And have lunch. And have lunch. That's right. Thank you to Wild Top. Thank you to the Oaks Private School. Thank you to all the other people who are going to participate. And thank you if you hit the like, the subscribe, the comment on how we did in putting it together. And if it has convinced you to buy one. Do you have anything else to add? I would just add? add if you've got one of these. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter what uh, brand truck you have it on. Right. Let us know in the comments. We'd like to hear from other people who have one of these. What are your experiences so far? Hmm. How do you like it? Anything we should look out for in the future? Yeah, that would help us out a lot. Maybe even some uh, caretaking tips, because I sure. heard with the with the vinyl windows, there's a certain type of, of cleaning solution and things like that. So those Ooh. would be good tips. Tell them us. what you're supposed to do in the instructions with the watering it down. You're supposed to wet the outside and the inside. Well, I got half the job done. <laughs> <laughs> now all you have to do is wet the inside. Yeah. We Outside's did that on purpose. <laughs> Thanks, guys. This I'm was a blast. Thanks, Wild Top. See you later. I'm going to go get dry. Motor.